Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made what up. What is happening? Your friends aren't afraid to go in the woods. The boy right? who plays with Johnny. He must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. <laughs> Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And eat snails. Yuck. Yuck. That's the same little girl face as the, the girl, girl from the uh, danger. Baron's place. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've got to do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Oh boy. Let's sure. Play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Yeah, well. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, uh, and you have to count out loud. Whoa. All your fingers, toes, too. Oh boy, kids. One. Hi, <laughs> Carol. Three. Four. Eighteen. Five. Nineteen. Carol, come on. Ready or not. Oh, Carol, you're such a goober. Well, I thought I saw one. Oop, hello. Well, that's no fair. I can't really get up there. Hey, what are you chillin' ones? Oop. Which way do these footprints go? This way. Gotcha. Found you. you can stop hiding. Get wrecked, Yagna. Hello. I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> That's such a silly way girl just said that. Alright, we got two more kids to find. Ah, got something. Somebody went inside. Is that against the rules? Oh. There you are. How'd you find me? Uh, I went inside the house. You weren't that hidden once I did that. Hmm. Ah, clever kid. Went back into the other ha Ah, and out the window again. Very interesting. That was clever, clever. Suspect they didn't go too far, though. There you is. No one left hiding. You're a wizard, right? Gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage. <laughs> no, we'll talk about your promise. Ooh, got her. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? I mean, yes. I guess good innocent children. Run! <laughs> Come! Come! Girl, you're real hidden, dude. Girl, it's like time to talk to the young child. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. Oh my I won't god. Hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Coming down to his level. Why are you afraid? Why are you scared to talk? You're not scared of nothing. You're nothing. all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. What? But Gran yelled at me. Said not to talk to strangers, because then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. Wow. What is happening? This is so weird. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's uh, not made up. If he's a child, I won't hurt him. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said 
I saw a girl with ash and hair oh, in the swamp. Oh shit. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Huh. Look around. You'll see him. Wow. Thank you. Thanks, kid. <laughs> oh, next time don't sit on an anthill with your arse out. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Gran's yet getting pissy at those kids. Ah, shit. Well, I said I wouldn't hurt Johnny, not that I wouldn't hurt anybody. Nice reaction time. Whoa, you're different. My sword's damaged. Shit. Oh, I I know why. <laughs> if Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Ah. Anything? Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Huh. I just happened to guess right. Shit. <laughs> Who is Johnny that he can survive in this? Let's rest for an hour, because that, that hurt. Oh, shit. Drink a sip of water. Still footprints. Seems to indicate some level of actually existing. Wouldn't mind no longer using my silver sword for a little Tracks while. lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Well, now how do I do that? Oh, like that, Johnny. Whoa. Don't be afraid. Are you a child? What are you? You're definitely some kind of creature. You're a bucka? A lutin? Huh. Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? Why not? Can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can oh, I help you somehow? Follow you? Okay. Want me to follow you? Oh, I bet I could make him do dumb shit if no I said choice, I don't I know guess. what's going on. <laughs> nope, no choice. I am ready to defend you, Jonathan. From those evil drowners. Ooh, I see something. Watch nice out. and spicy behind them. Excuse me, part of me. Yep, just cough, cough, cough. And pop. <laughs> Stay close to me. 
Stay close, Johnny, even though you know where we're going. Do me a favor and stick close to my side. Where are we going today, my friend? Hello, Johnny. Johnny! Johnny, you idiot! Well, that looks kind of like, oh. This is the place? Let me look around. Oh. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> did, did, what are you laughing at, chump? I'm the one who's gotta fucking do it. All right, all right, fine. Run a front, run a kid. Hey, wait a second. Let's check this out while we're here. Well, now what's all this here for? Oh, fucking drowners. That's why. Hey, Chuckles! Oh my god. Have fun. Aw. Whoa, my god. That hit me a lot harder than I expected. Could I, uh... You know. Thank you. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> All right, I really just wanted to see what this house might hold. Mr. Two. Oh, shit. Take some fire. Stop dancing with me. Boom. Just the mega slice. I just wanted to see what was in this. Oh shit! It's locked anyway. I mean, they had to think that someone might look from there or whatever. Who cares? Up, up, and away, Geralt. Oh, these aren't ravens. They're harpies. Stay on the ground. Right where I can hurt you. Ooh, that's savage. Actually. Oh, am I learning the signs by fucking color? That's sick. Oh, you're goofed. Yeah! I'm sure you didn't like that happening to your friend, did you? Mm, happened to you too, though. That's a little silly. Now, what do they have? Maybe he meant this bottle. Hey, Jenny. How about I take a little slide down, assuming it doesn't fucking kill me? <laughs> oh, that's no good. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna meditate just because I might not have a chance after this. Hey, Johnny boy. Here. Whiskey, slither, ringworm, rubbish, bumblebee, flabbergasted. <laughs> the sound of it. Oh, kid. Peter Piper, Big Prince, Proximo, and Pack of Pickle Peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> I'm celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like <laughs> licking snails through a cloth. Oh my Thank god. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Uh, kid. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes, because you promised. How did someone bottle your voice? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. <laughs> Somebody used some powerful magic on you. 
as a prank or just to be mean. Why did you lose your voice? How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, huh. I burst a blood vessel. Weird. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, I'm sitting there What's a smudger? Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse the me? The crones? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice. But I was helpless to retrieve it. Could you ask climb. a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't have no... So we haven't found the crones yet. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. As soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My oh, God. Part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. <laughs> Downright glorious. <laughs> God, Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. Oh, God. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, so I she lost did my go voice, to the huts. So I don't think she heard me. The crones. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. Hmm. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. They know I'm here, then. They should. I've been to the village in the swamp. Met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. <laughs> me. <laughs> An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. Uh, good for you, kid. So she went towards the village. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. That old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. You're Will a stranger. You? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Wow. Shockingly kind of you, child. All right, Johnny, let's get to the swamp village. Please, Johnny. Okay, where are you going? That's not the way to the village, the big galoot. Oh boy, we get to fight more. I love this. Watch out! Watch out! Fucking hell, what was that combo? Water bag. Oh, fuck. She's continuing. Ooh, get poked. Isn't there another one? What's he doing? Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh, poke through the tree. Haha. Uh -huh. Shit. She can still hit me, too. Johnny, how about you give me like five minutes break so I can go back to a town and like fix my sword? I would appreciate this. Man, I have not picked plants in too long. Well, we gotta be close. There's the travel sign. Oop, Carol, what was. 
Yes, Johnny, we are at the Swamp Village. Oh, there she is. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Oh boy, what the heck is that going to entail? Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Hop! But Spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I will tell. What? You. I got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. Oh. I shall look for it when I get home. You're funny. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Don't get all pissed at me. I'm the one who... Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran. But this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Uh please, it's important. The it's always will important. Be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night. Even oh, come on. Time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, that's a good reason, I guess. Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Thanks, lady. Thanks, uh... Kid? Kid? I, kid? No way, the big church structure that looks creepy. Who could have guessed? Whoa, what was with that music? Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Whoa, that's some art. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer. My call before you, a worm crawls, wretched and small. Whoa. Uh oh, is this a portal thing? Uh oh, how dare you disturb our rest, woman? Um. I'm not I'm wasting time with these ladies. With hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen head girls. She's like a daughter to me. Woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> oh boy. Matters to me. Good I on you, Geralt. I don't know. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. What happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. Geralt. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me. Have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Not really. Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is so in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. That seems to be the tale a lot of the time. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired mood. Interesting. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The Orderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. Uh oh, what is payment? And now our servant will bring you the dagger. 
why do I need a dagger? A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's weird to be a dagger, but sure. Sure, I'll do it. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Sure, happy to. Ooh. That can't feel great. Oh, mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Okay. Yes. It. Yes. It is. Whoa. Yes. That. That was a dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. What? Oh, stop with the creepy music. I want to get the fuck out of here. 